New documents show higher ups at the Loveland Police Department were, were aware of the force that was used during the arrest of a 73 year old woman with dementia and they were OK with it. Karen Gardner suffered a broken arm and dislocated shoulder during her arrest in June of last year. Police Chief Robert Tyser said he was not aware of Gardner's arrest until months later, but we're learning his assistant chief, a lieutenant and sergeant all reviewed this video and deemed the use of force appropriate. Now today, Denver 7's Eddie Guajardo talked with Garner's attorney about these new findings. Do you need to be arrested right now? No, no, no. Okay. Let's stop. Come on. The violent arrest of Karen Garner, a 73 year old woman in June of 2020. Ow! Left her with a broken arm, a dislocated shoulder, scrapes and bruises. I hurt my shoulders. A blue team report required in instances of use of force or injury filed by the Loveland Police Department and recently released by Garner's attorney. Originally had a temporary protective order. Confirmed several officers in the chain of command reviewed photos and body camera video six weeks after the encounter and signed off on the use of force. But all of his supervisors going, you did it just like you were trained. Good job, officer. That's a real problem. That is That just shows such a cultural issue, such leadership problems. Arresting officer Austin Hopps report was sent to 10 officers for review. Chief of police Robert Tyser was also copied, but he claims he didn't learn of the allegations until 2021. Once that information came to us yesterday afternoon, we have gotten on this case very aggressively, very rapidly. Sergeant Philip Metzler reviewed the evidence. He found the arrest to be within policy and deemed the minor use of force as reasonable and appropriate. Lieutenant Robert Schaefer questioned missing footage of the arrest and struggle, but stated no further action or investigation was necessary. Assistant Chief Ray Butler called the use of force reasonable and within policy. Officer Hopp faces criminal charges for the arrest. I imagine what Officer Hopp's defense is going to be in his criminal trial is that he was doing exactly what he was trained to do. And that blue team report is going to be exhibit A. According to the arrest affidavit, Hopp was misleading in his report and made substantial omissions when questioned about the confrontation. What you saw in the bit video, not the Loveland Police Department. Garner's attorney criticized the department's leadership and training and questioned the department's transparency. I think the message that they're sending and the subtext of what the chief has been saying is that nobody has ever held us accountable and you're not going to start doing it now. I'm just going to say what I think I need to say to make this go away. Garner is now in a long term care facility. Her attorney says she will keep fighting until more officers are held accountable for failing to do their job and there is change in leadership. Officer Hopp no longer works for the department. Addie Guajardo, Denver 7. And we reached out to the Loveland Police Department for comment and we have not yet heard back. Now, in the aftermath of Garner's arrest, Loveland police officers have been trained on how to spot a person with dementia. They're also being trained by the Alzheimer's Association on de-escalation techniques to avoid what happened in the Garner case.